Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure, and this is our final walking tour video of the island of Portland. The only neighborhood we haven't covered yet is Callahan Point. So you can see I'm standing here near the Callahan Bridge, and if I move just a little bit forward, we should enter Callahan Point. There we go. So we were in uh, Trenton. Uh, I'm just going to treat this entire courtyard as being part of uh, Callahan Point, but technically the, the boundary isn't quite this wall. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Get back to regular speed and read from the wiki. Uh, Callahan Point is the southwesternmost district in Portland Island. Oh, I only mentioned the one corner, sorry. And it's because everything else in um, Callahan Point is either south of me or west of me. So everything south and west, everything in that direction, and then all of these directions that Claude is looking all the way up to straight west. Everything on Portland Island in this entire uh, range is um, Callahan Point. Okay, so from the wiki, uh, this... Uh, district is distinguished by its underdeveloped state, although it does feature a large building at the northern edge. I guess that's uh, this one we're right in front of here. Uh, and uh, notably houses the Portland end of the similar named, similarly named Callahan Bridge, um, which is completed sometime between 1998 and 2001, the uh, uh, LCS and then GT3 timelines. Okay, so uh, prominent landmarks, but we're just going to go see them. Uh, prominent appearances and missions. Yeah, there's three of them, and then we'll probably just check out the uh, fixed vehicles and everything. Okay, so uh, I don't see anything else to read there, so let's just walk around. Uh, so first there is a uh, hidden package right here. That used to be the very first thing that I did in the game that got me any credit when I was doing 100%, but I changed the order a bit, so that's no longer first. And then there's a, a revolver up there, uh, which you can get to by uh, hopping up here, uh, potentially from like a, jumping on your car on the bridge, and then running over here until you can make your way up on top of this, uh, this ledge. Okay, cool. Uh, so here's this, so uh, look out. So here's this uh, massive building that we're kind of running around first here. Uh, again, Callahan Point, but technically like Callahan Bridge, like it's, it's not really a, a full-fledged neighborhood, but I guess we got to talk about it because it does have uh, this unique jump here. Callahan Bridge is getting shoved into this video. So Callahan Bridge has this unique jump here and then uh, another one on the uh, on the bridge itself, uh, jumping uh, from west to east. That's uh, another one of the really tough unique jumps for me. Uh, okay, so uh, we'll go back to double speed with all the running here. Uh, so again, a uh, big nameless building over this way. Uh, right around here somewhere is the backup location for one of the rampages. If you fail the first time, I think it's like right by this tree. Again, not that I ever fail rampages. Okay, uh, so let's uh, head this direction first. And we're going to come back to the diner. But what I want to do in the meantime is just check out the, um, the pier. Uh, so the pier is uh, here from the beginning of the game. But when I first played this game, uh, and then I got to the uh, culminating mission on Portland Island, and it said go to the go to the docks and get in the boat. And I was like, what? There's a dock? So yeah, so it's here from the beginning of the game. Uh, and again, part of Callahan Point. So at the in the mission, what is it called? Last Request. Uh, you get to uh, pick up a boat right here with Maria and Asuka. And, uh, and then that unlocks uh, Staunton officially. Good stuff. Uh, there is a, a hidden package on that big rock collection over there. I, I guess that's technically part of Callahan Point, or maybe the stuff in the water doesn't really have a neighborhood. Okay, so we'll make our way back this direction. And I'm uh, not sure exactly. Okay, so now we're already in Portland, right? So then the, so I guess the Callahan Point pretty much ends when you get underneath the bridge itself. Okay. All right, uh, so right up here on the top of Greasy Joe's uh, Diner is a uh, Bribe Star right here. And uh, we can take a look at uh, Greasy Joe's Diner. So it's got a couple of flags that look uh, very similar to the ones in front of the Chinatown restaurant, Punk Noodles. Greasy Joe's Diner Restaurant, and it's got some uh, some of the same signage here, Bud Geezer, and then the Penguin. We've seen these things in Chinatown. In fact, I think we saw them in the uh, at, uh, Punk Noodles. All of these signs here, lit beer instead of light beer. Yep. Okay, uh, this moonbeam is fixed. It's always here. This Karuma is fixed. It's always here. And this line runner is a fixed spawn. It's always here. Uh, the uh, Greasy Joe's is uh, featured in the mission Dead Skunk in the Trunk, where you have to pick up a, a manana that uh, will appear right around here during that mission. And uh, again, uh, no spoilers. Nothing will go horribly wrong. Uh, let's see if we can uh, read about uh, Greasy Joe's Cafe or Greasy Joe's Diner, I should say. 
Okay, uh, Greasy Joe's is in GTA 3 and Advance, not in LCS apparently. In LCS, this location was Rusty Brown's Donut Shop. Uh, okay, so we talked about the fixed vehicles and we talked about the mission Dead Skunk in the Trunk. Um, and then uh, some trivia, but not about this game. Uh, it, Greasy Joe's is uh, mentioned in uh, on the GTA 4 website, or one of the GTA 4 websites, Greasy Joe's Cafe in Alderney. Okay, so pretty good, pretty good. Let's uh, continue right along here. Nothing in this corner, right? Nope. Okay, I'll head over this way. Uh, so this, I guess, is just like a running or walking or biking path. Like, it doesn't lead anywhere in particular. I mean, there's a heart pickup right here. Uh, the last pickup we did in the uh, Portland pickups video, but um, yeah, it's not like it. It's not like it goes to a compound or whatever, like the Triad Fish Factory. Okay, so still in Callahan Point. And uh, again, um, uh, there's a uh, unique jump directly in front of us there. Uh, so I get my run up in Callahan Point and then cross over into uh, Portland Harbor. Or sorry, Atlantic Keys. Okay, let's come back here. The last major attraction in uh, Callahan Point. Hey, bud. Is he trying to let me in? Is he trying to shoot me? This is an early save file. Why is he trying to... Why is this guy being aggressive? You want some of this? Get some. What you got? Oh, you're going to bring your friend? So I guess they won't shoot because uh, I think the shooting doesn't do anything on the other side of the fence. I think I'll just make sure that's true. Yeah, um, but uh, punching. Punching still works. Ooh, bats. Bats work too. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I can add some armor. Oh, this is a new strategy found here, guys. This is awesome. Two guns. Look at all that. Look at all that ammo. Gorgeous. Okay, uh, so I don't know why they're mad at me. I guess they just don't want you in their compound. Um, so the, the ways to get in the compound are to um, something, uh, to uh, have a, a triad fish pan or a garbage truck, and then the uh, gate will open up for you. Uh, I'm going to try to get in a, in a different way. Okay, so here we are. I've never tried getting into uh, the, uh, the triad fish factory this way, but uh, surely nothing can go wrong. Let's give this a try. I'm going to try to feather it and feather and feather. Oh, this is looking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hey, everybody, I'm home. Perfect. Look, they're shooting at me. Why are they shooting at me? I haven't done anything wrong. Just landed. I had the proper permits and everything. Okay, guys, I'm trying to do a tour here. This is not going to work for me. Not going to work. You two, still not going to work. Okay, so uh, here we are in the uh, fish factory. Uh, so we got the uh, belly up fans. I think that these are not quite the only places the belly up fans exist, uh, but they're pretty rare. Uh, the uh, triad fish fans, I guess they're technically called. Yep, okay, all good. Okay, uh, so uh, there's a mission that uh, ends right here uh, where you bring a uh, garbage can, a garbage uh, truck. Um, that has been uh, armed with the bomb and you drop it here and you rig the bomb and then you run like mad over in that direction to pick up the package. Uh, that mission is uh, something. I don't know what it's called. You think I know stuff? I don't know stuff. Blowfish. Blowfish. Okay, uh, so uh, we got the Triad Fish Factory here. All the, uh, I don't know, it's like propane tanks or something. Some kind of fuel in there, I'd guess. And then here's a uh, the package, the aforementioned package. Uh, and then uh, during that mission, Blowfish, I'll, uh, I'll point out when we do that story mission, if we haven't done it already, uh, that uh, you can actually briefly see fish uh, falling from the sky if you look carefully. Okay, so I don't know what's supposed to come out of there, maybe like packages of fish or whatever, but uh, presumably you put a uh, dump truck here, like an open top, and then it collects all of the stuff coming out. Okay, and then it says uh, Turtlehead Fish Company up there on the sign and uh, belly up fish and seafood processing plant on the trucks. Okay, let's see if we can read about the uh, Turtlehead Fish Company. The Turtlehead Fishing Company is a company presumably specializing in fisheries. Uh, it's in uh, here in uh, Callahan Point and there's a warehouse in Pike Creek. So we'll see that in on the third island. Uh, only appearing in GTA 3 and Advance. Um, this warehouse is the location of a, uh, this, this area is the location of uh, Salvatore Leone's warehouse in LCS. Uh, the Turtlehead Fishing Company is being used as a front by the Triads. Uh, during the war between the Leone family and the Triads, Claude is ordered by Tony to do some stuff with the Trashmaster. Yeah, okay. Right, right, right. And then there's some stuff about Liberty City. Uh, and then, um, like I mentioned, uh, 
Blowfish uh, ends here. Oh yeah, and then Triads and Tribulations, um, which is a, a Tony mission. Uh, doesn't have to end here, but you do have to come here at some point to uh, kill one of the. Uh, it's one of the three Triads you need to kill is in here. Um, uh, just uh, just around the back of the building, right back here, standing on this uh, this ledge. Uh, so you're welcome to come in and fight your way through the triads. What I do is just go up onto this green hill just on foot and then uh, use a weapon that I can fire far like the AK. Okay, uh, coming back to the wiki, it has some information about the uh, phrase turtle head. <clears throat> so the direct Chinese translation of turtle head is, and then they've got some, uh, some Cantonese uh, characters here, two of them. It means penis in spoken Cantonese, turtle head. Wonderful. Uh, after completing Blowfish, the triads stop spawning in and around this area, although their trucks will continue to spawn on the roadheads around the city. In the United Kingdom, turtle heading is slang for desperately trying not to excrete. Fantastic. Okay, uh, I will come right back with a, uh, a taxi that has no collision. Okay, I mentioned the standard ways to get into this compound. Uh, Non-standard way is to just drive right through that gate. So uh, because I'm in this collision-free vehicle, it seems like the triads don't don't know me. You want a piece? Oh, he's trying to take a piece of me. Uh, yeah, if he pulls me out, I can't get back in. Okay, so here's the uh, inside of the um, compound. Sorry for the jitteriness. Okay, the last thing for this video and the last thing for Portland Tours is Greasy Joe's. Let's have a look inside, see if they're up to, uh, up to code in terms of cleanliness and other sort of health standards. Everything seems okay here. Probably they could use some additional seating, but standing room works for me. And I think that's about it to say about uh, Callahan Point. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.